Okay, so a quick tutorial on how to change your gamma. If you have a AMD ready on graphics card instead of a NVIDIA card. And the difference of the color settings and the standard settings. Yes, it's actually insane. So if you enable custom colors, you can only change the brightness and contrast uh, and saturation, but the brightness doesn't affect the gamma at all. It's just a mix of uh, whitish glow. It's not gamma. So we need a small workaround for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to these two websites. I'm gonna link them in the description. First program we're gonna need is Gamma Panel. You can download it right here. And second one is uh, CP Keeper. We're gonna need this one if we want to keep our settings. If you just wanna use Gamma Panel, it only works if you have not more than one screen connected to your PC. If you have two or more, you're gonna need CP Keeper, otherwise Gamma Panel won't work. So we're gonna download and install both programs. Okay, so when we open up uh, Tarkov, you can go into an offline raid and you're gonna open Gamma Panel. So these are the settings I'm using right now. So you can now set up your colors. These are the settings I'm using. I'm putting Gamma all the way up to 6.0, same with contrast to 2.0 and brightness to minus 35%. I'm gonna show you a video of my monitor and they're gonna see how it looks. So even the darkest spots in the game look lit up. And these are the settings without the changes. Another demonstration of the changes. So this is how it's looking for me when I change the graphic settings right now night factory is looking like daytime even more lit up than daytime another view of night factory and again the difference of the color settings and the standard settings yes it's actually insane you can save a profile, so you change your settings. So press save as, you can name it and save. Now you can open it up all the time again and again. You can also reset it to the base values. Just create another profile, press reset, save as and call it for example base. So now you can load the EFT profile and change back to your base settings like this. And what you want to do when you're using two monitors at the same time, camera panel wouldn't work uh, normally. So you need the second program, CP Keeper. So first we're gonna create a standard profile with our standard settings without anything changed. So we can revert the settings after we're done with the raid because I find it very unpleasant to be in the menu and have the camera all the way up and stuff. So the menu is looking a bit whitish and uh, too shiny. So we want to have a standard setting. So we're gonna press on the star symbol. This will save your current camera and whatever settings uh, to a profile. You can call it as I did standard or whatever. So you can load it up. To do this, you wanna press on the three points, select the profile and open it and press apply. So now it changed the settings back to how they were when you saved the profile. So now we're gonna open back up our EFT profile. So you're gonna choose EFT. The values are loaded. And now you press on the monitor symbol again. You want to save it, call it EFT or whatever. Press save. And now we can open it up. We can just go there, go to documents, select EFT, cut and paste. You go back to the directory where it always opens when you press the three dots and you wanna select insert. And 
now you can turn back on your second monitor. Now the program will work. You can just close gamma panel. You also won't need gamma panel at all anymore, just if you want to change the settings of the profiles and save them again. Okay, so now you just gonna need a color profile keeper. You can have it on startup. Just click on your task bar, select task manager. Go to auto start and there you can check for CP keeper. If it's activated, it's all fine. You can just find it in the tray. It opens up or when you start a Windows and it'll be in the tray if you just um, press the minimize button. Now, when you're done with the RAID, you just want to open it up, select the standard profile, hit apply, and that's it. I hope this guide helped you, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Have good raids, guys.